Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. I thank you so so much for being here today. Today we are going to have a wonderful time together. It requires a lot of patience and sorry holding is a form of meditation because you need to focus. So I have, see this is the inside portion, the pretty portion, so I have to hold it, the pretty portion, the pretty portion, and fold it like this, so that way the pretty portion stays inside. Now, if you want to keep the saris good looking for years to come, you need to avoid getting it too much air or sun, so... Just going to fold it like this. Okay, let's see. The pretty portion goes inside. As I told you, this requires some patience and some special skill. So you have to make sure you hold all the portion of it or it's going to get messed up again. So I hold all of them here. Good hand exercise. So, like this, you fold it like this inside. So, all the all the jelly and the pretty portion went in, and they will stay in like this so that way. It will not be black, otherwise very good quality jewelry will become black. So that's that. And I'm going to show you this other one. And how I keep it is this. These are cotton bags. They come with the sari when you purchase the sari. Or you can just purchase bags like this to purchase one bag and see how it is made and then you can make your own bag with some fabric. Now this see this is different kind of fabric. This is a fabric from potato sacks so it's breathable. So this kind of fabric bag you put your sari inside keep it like this that way your sari does not get much air and stays good so this is the sari number two i'll show you uh, this sari is called South Indian Sari and this is very old Sari. This is past to generation but look at it now. Even now it's so bright and shiny and this is very deep green color with gold jari. Now these are real jari thread and this thread becomes totally black if you hang it in the closet on your hanger so you cannot do that you cannot hang this kind of sari somewhere in the closet or in your almari because if you do that sorry this jewelry will be black if you expose them to the air they get oxidized so here's the sari pandu And this sari is many years old, it's past into the generation. The sari is very good. A lot of people don't know that if you keep this kind of uh, very good quality jari oil sari uh, in the air, they will get oxidized and black. And then people think the sari 
has gone bad and they were just throw it out or something. But the sari is only one bad because of living and letting it in out in the fresh air it becomes oxidized. So this is how the whole entire body and this is the bottom part. So this is the end where the sari starts when you wear it. So now when I'm going to fold it, I'm going to take like this and put the folding side inside. So this, the sari folding is an art. And you need to practice and it takes a lot of patience. So we need the meditation. So we will have this solid form of meditation. Now when you when you're doing the folding, you need to hold all the parts of it. Some parts of it came down. Okay. Like this with people, all good sides. Now this is another one. So this is the inner portion. I have a lot of green saris because that's my favorite color and I have a lot of blue and black also. So and I have now I'm starting to buy all different colors but initially I used to buy only blue, then green, then black. Now I'm just moving on to all different colors. So now this is the balloon the bottom section and this is the body now this is also South Indian Benarasi silk sari in this these are the real Benarasi cherry thread and now these things are very shiny and beautiful still because they have been kept nicely we need to open and check sometimes saris in this kind of fold they get cut so you need to open and check make sure there's no cut and you need to change the folding so, and if you don't have any occasion but still just wear it in home so now I'm going to fold it like this so, just a few hours unfolding meditation. So you open it on a table or something and then you fold it. Always, always keep 
the beautiful person inside of you, if that person folded themselves, folded inside. So the beautiful person went inside and the outside person to this had stitches. So the stitches is out. On this sari, you do not iron and you do not hand wash them. You try to keep them very nice and clean, try not to drop anything. But if you do drop something, then you need to take it to a dry cleaner who does the sari dry cleaning. And preferably organic and not chemicals. And if you drop a little bit of food, just wet, uh, white cloth with very gentle soap and gently rub it like this and get it out quickly and then just air dry it little bit but do not throw it in washer dryer then it will be ruined totally so yeah that's how you have to take care of it and just keep it nice and always change the fold and see how it is doing and then it will last you many years sometimes 20 years sometimes more so each bag I keep one sari, but right now for the sake of sewing, I'm keeping several in each bag. So I'm going to do uh, in segments, few today, few tomorrow like this. I don't want to make it too long. Here comes another green. This green I have used extensively. This one I probably wore it, I don't know, maybe 40, 50 times. Because this was my most favorite. Now, this has been used so much. This is the pandu. And this is a gift from a very special person, so that's why I wore it a lot, and yeah, it's my favorite. I, it does have little bit of spots, right over here there's a spot, little bit of spot, I might have to use something to get it out, I didn't want it just I think this spot is from lipstick, so this sari does have some, seem to have some spots, because this been used a lot, here's some powder. So one of the problems with when you wear sari, then you do makeup and everything falls in the sari. So try to do your makeup and then wear the sari. Usually I wear the sari and then do the makeup. So this sari has been used extensively. The fall, the bottom portion is so beautiful that the, the um, balloo is very beautiful too. Um, this is just the... The, this is just the finest silk, this is the finest um, Banarasi silk and it lasted for years and years and years and escaped all the good service. This is the best, one of the best. This was a gift, this 
it's extremely now over here you see over here the it shows the aging here is stretched so yeah it's having some aging but then um, this has been used a lot and this is the very good quality sari does give a lot of service the colors are two colors red mix so you can see that here also two color thread mix coming out so I still want to keep it very good because this silk is so soft you know previously there used to be a silk which when you fold it it used to go inside a matchbox uh, six yards sari used to go in a little matchbox that fine silk was available in a silk is made from a special kind of bugs and these bugs give out sort of like um, their larva or mucus and from that they make silk thread and those silks are pure silk and this is very pure silk too this is very pure silk this is very soft and when I fold it it will not go inside a matchbox but will become very little and then with the very very pure silk you will see as it gets old you can see the wear and tear but I I really love this sari so I will not get rid of it or anything I will hold on to it for a long time so now I'm going to fold it nicely and keep it so you always have to take them off like um, take them out of your box and shake them like once in a month and be sure to wear them and just, just see the wear and tear and I'm just going to fold it and open the folds because very good quality silk will have a tear and the folds so you have to check to make sure there are not tears in the when the sari gets like really really old and suppose it does have a tear in the fold what you can do then you can use the sari and make some skirts and blouse so you can take out the tears and add some fabric and make a skirt blouse but you can still use some portion of it and it is so good and you can take out this this even though the sari body might have tear but this pallu the bottom portion fall and the pallu will always be good so you can cut those portions and keep it and you get a matching siphon sari okay and then use the fall and the pallu you just have to be a little creative to see you're gonna do that and then do it so i showed you four green sides i have this one this is cotton and this is red and green now in india we have a lot of cotton sari this called um, tatis sari so this is 100 percent cotton and they are actually handmade as you see this one is very very old but still so new because it's also kept nicely so you can keep them nicely and they will last longer as you can see this this is the pallu section
So this is the Pallu section. As you see, this is very simple. I might add some things to it, like sequin, maybe it's not sure, but this is very cottonish and this is pure cotton sari called Tatish sari. And as you can see, it's red and green. And I'm even surprised that this looks still so good. This one really really good and no damage to it so you see that's how it is this pure cotton and very soft very soft now if you can put lining you can make skirt out of this you have to add some lining because it's very thin or you can make a petticoat and then add this one on top to make a sort of like a langa now this tatisari silk sorry folding is easy because tatisari folding this cotton sari folding is very hard initially it's a lot of exercise for your arms, will give you pain in your arm for doing this long time. It's a good arm exercise. So this is very very old, it does not have any wear and tear as you can see. I have another one and this is silk and this is I just recently bought it and this sari is a little bit of use, I bought it from someone and Oh yeah, this has not been used at all, just that person bought it and then decided not to, that they didn't want it anymore, so I bought it. And this is not, doesn't even have a sari fall, but since the sari wasn't kept properly, you can see the threads coming out from here, and it doesn't have any sari fall. And it's sort of like a silk and polyester mix. I mean, it has some decoration over here. It has some beaded decoration. I am presuming that these beads used to be gold one time because you could see some beads are gold and some are different color. Probably they lost color, so they all used to be gold. So I'm thinking when it was all gold, it looked probably very pretty. But anyway, this, the reason I bought it, that it has the fabric six yards, and the price uh, was very, very, very cheap. And I could work on it. So yeah, that's the reason I bought it. And, and it has two colors, and very... And the fabric, 6 yard fabric itself, is just too much. So yeah, it's like really good.
So this is the size I'm going to work on and see what color sequin bead I can put in it and what's the potential it could have but looks like right now it might have a lot of potential. Hi, thank you so so much for being here today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share this video. Thank you. May God bless you all.